freshman year, I was in the pep squad, and <laughs> that's all I can say yeah, about I went that. to this short organization called the DeSoto May Pets, or the DeSoto Twirlers, and I can honestly say that that <laughs> organization helped me my whole high school life. Um, it helped me keep, keep my head on straight, um, keep my grades up, introduced me to a lot of people, broke me out of my shell. I can honestly say that that was a blessing in disguise. We had an amazing coach. She was there for us through it all. If we just needed someone to talk to, um, <laughs> truly everything, she was there. And I can just say that she helped me be as confident, as positive as I am today. Without her, I really don't know where I would be. All of the hard work, sweat, blood, and tears, it was a lot, but it was really worth it. I can't say that. However, it wasn't always involved this year with me uh, really since I've been a majorette they've been to all the games they were there from all of my fits and fumbles and they were also there when I was happy when I was successful when I won all kinds of medals and trophies um, I can honestly say that I was blessed with um, excellent parents and I wouldn't trade them for the world my grandmother has been a part as well, especially on the spiritual side. She's always told me never to give up and uh, always keep God first. And I think that's an important trait that everyone should have. Um, I'm truly blessed to have her in my life. As far as friends, I can say that I'm blessed, I'm blessed to have one. Um, Everybody knows her, Des. She's always around me. We've been down for each other since, what, fourth grade? Uh, I just don't feel like we'll ever fall apart. I tell her everything. She tells me everything. We're always there for each other. She's the peanut butter to my jelly, and I love her with all of my heart. Last but not least, I have my team. Well, the remainder, the youngest, the juniors and the sophomores. Um, really, I just want to leave a will for you guys. Um, first, starting off with Ashley. Ashley, I leave you my confidence and moves in the stand. I wish the best for you this year. I just want you to have confidence in everything that you do. If you know you're doing it and you just feel it, I want you to really feel it. Shelby, I leave my kind heart. Shelby, you have an amazing personality, and that is an awesome trait to have. Really, I leave you my heart, meaning if, you, if there's someone on the team struggling or someone on the team that needs some help, um, even with social things, social life, just, you know, needs to come and confide in you. I want you to be open and be there for them because I know that you can. Your personality is just awesome. Diane. Oh Lord girl. You are so sweet. You're such a sweetheart but really I want to leave you my mouth. Listen first. Don't talk. Don't over explain things Diane. Please. It'll get you so much farther if you just listen first. Please. <laughs> I leave you my attitude. A positive attitude will get you so far in life. Trust me. You're a pretty girl. All you need to have is a positive attitude and soft. be soft-spoken. Don't always come to the defense. And to my dear Tamina, Tamia, I know you're not really a majorette, but you're a junior. You're a, you've been there with us. You might as well be one. 
you to you I leave my head strongness um, I expect so much out of you please don't let anything get in your way please stay focused on a, the goal of graduating high school stay out of drama stay focused please because you know I'll beat you you know it You all are beautiful girls inside and out, and I all, I love you all with all of my heart. Um, you guys know that I'll always be there for you. Whenever you need something, I'll just be a call away. I may be graduating, but I'm not just going to fall off the face of the earth. Um, and you guys, I know, well, the actual thrill is I know you guys are starting off with a, basically a brand new team. Just don't forget where you came from. Have patience, have faith, because you just never know what will happen. Stay strong. Just pray. <laughs> That's really all I can tell you. But um, just know that I love you guys. And like I said, I'm only a call away if you need me. Good luck, girls. Love, Chanel. No, dashing and dancer and prancer and vixen, calling Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. That was cute. What do you recall? The most famous reindeer. Back to the future. I'm currently enrolled in Cedar Valley College taking summer classes and in the fall I will be transferring to San Jose State University majoring in psychology. Um, my dream job is to be a clinical psychologist. In order to accomplish it I will have to graduate four times. Um, the first being graduating from DeSoto High School June 7, 7 p.m. from Dallas Community Center. Uh, next will be graduating with my bachelor's from Sam Houston State University, then graduating with my master's, unknown from where, and then graduating with my PhD. Um, right now, I'm, I'm just not going to stop. I'm going to keep grinding until I get where I want to be in life. And I just really want to make everyone proud. I want to have success have just make everyone everywhere around from I just want to make it for everyone everyone that's not really where they want to be in life I want to make it to where I can help them out you know graduating it opens your eyes to so much more than you didn't really see when you're in school when you're in high school you don't have to pay for an education when you go to a university that's money coming out of your pocket that's money you could be doing something else with so really i'm just my main goal is really just to stay focused stay you know grounded but without a doubt i know that if there's a will there's a way and i'm just not going to stop until i get there um and to everyone that has faith in me, even the haters that hate on me, you're just pushing me more and more. So again, I say thank you. Thank you to everyone. Look what you've done. Look what you've done. Look what you've done for me. Yeah. You knew that I was going to be some. When you stressed out and you need some, I got you. Look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done, look what you've done. It's like 06 in your backyard, I'm in love with you. Yeah. Man. 
It's like 09 in your basement and I'm in love with Nebby And I still love her but it fell through because I wasn't ready And your back hurt and your neck hurt and you smoking heavy